Hello everyone, today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm doing a little bit of random off-the-cuff, fun constructed play with one of my viewers, Spectre Von Baron. Alright, so how it's going to work is it's going to be a best of three, and um, every match that we play we have to play a different deck. Alright, so I have three decks that I'm moderately happy with, and I'm going to start with my rogue deck. Now keep in mind, I don't play constructed very much. And my rogue deck is missing a lot of cards. I don't have any SI agents whatsoever. So it's definitely pretty lacking in some areas. Oh my god, this starting hand. Do I want the Assassin's Blade? I do have another weapon. Huh. Do I want the backstab? I, honestly, I don't have that many combos. If I had SI agents, I would say absolutely keep it. But I don't. What the hell? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna lose this one. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I'm getting extremely unlucky or if just my deck is incredibly unbalanced. Oh my god. Wow. Assassinate Shiv, Eviscerate, Fan of Knives. Oh my god. Did I mention I don't play Constructed very often? What the f- <sighs> I almost want to just- I have so many spells, I think I should just shiv it. Alright, there's something I can actually use. Yeah, I think I need to take another look at this deck. This, unless I'm really, really unlucky, this is very imbalanced. Ooh, Fan of Knives would be good here. Fan of Knives would be extremely good here. Yeah, definitely Fan of Knives. What secrets do hunters have? Snipe? Is that a hunter's secret? Then there's snake trap, which most people don't play, I don't think. Hmm. Here we go. Explosive trap? Okay. Ooh. Hmm. What can I do next turn? Could shiv and eviscerate if it's something fairly large. Actually, I could Chillwind Yeti and Eviscerate... Wait, no. Yeah, yeah. Chillwind Yeti. Or Sentient Shieldmaster plus Eviscerate if I use a coin. No plays. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, okay. This, this is probably worth it. Normally, I like the Elven Archer. To I like to keep it in my hand. Normally I like to keep it in my hand for the utility of popping a Divine Shield or something like that, but with the opportunity to buff a Frostwolf Warlord, another 1-1, one, one, I'll take it. And it turned out not even mattering. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Very, very nice. Friend. 
Here we go. Should I go for the face? I won't. Because next turn, if I... Oh, now I really wish I kept around the uh, Acidic Swamp Ooze. Right, well, anything I play dies. Anything I play dies. So I simply won't play anything. Wow, look at this. We're on turn 7, turn 8. We still have a lot of cards in our hands, and we still have quite a bit of hit points. Hmm. I really wish I had some silent. Wait a minute. That's, that's not silence. I was, I was kind of thinking of assassinate, because I know assassinate can punch through divine shields. Since it doesn't do damage, it actually destroys an enemy minion. But that's not going to get rid of a death rattle, obviously. <laughs> Do I want to feed it a Sengen? So many options. Hmm. I could assassinate it and then kill one of the other things by punching in the face and using Shiv. I kind of want to do that. I'm going to do it. Not sure if that was the best play, but I'm worried about since this is constructed. I'm really worried about beast uh, synergy, I guess you'd say. Such is that. I don't think that was the right play. I don't know what the hell I just did. I did things. I did stuff and I did things. Yeah, I'm not doing great. Played. Nice. 
Okay, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> I'm dead next turn unless I can remove stuff. Or, you know, put a baton. Okay. Right, now I'm on a, a four-turn clock at this point, just with the hero power alone. At least I can sprint. Well played. Oh, what do you have? Magic shall not save okay. Well played. Damn. Okay, my next deck. Okay, well I have my, I have my ridiculous, just uh, totally absurd comedy paladin deck. That's uh, a Murloc paladin deck that I made just for a laugh. And <laughs> I never even saw my hungry crab, hungry hungry crab. It's funny, but I don't think it's very good. Like it's not balanced whatsoever. I just literally added every single Murloc card I had, just as a joke. So let's not go with that. Let's go with my warrior deck. Next round? As in, there's gonna be one? I am not. Gerash versus Uther. I will fight with honor. Victory or death! All right, so this is a very good start. I will keep all of that. So yeah, most of my uh, constructed decks are just kind of fun. I don't know if they're the best. I haven't looked at any guides of any sort. <laughs> Greetings. But they're kind of based around certain ideas that I just find fun, like Murlocs was just for fun. This one is about getting as much, as much enraged creatures out there as possible. Ooh, you might you might regret playing that with my raging worgen. We'll see. Hmm. Probably just Frostwolf Grunt. Yeah, that trades well for it. Not on my watch. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Damn it. Uh. Hmm. Raging Worgen's the only thing that makes any sense at all, but even that, it's just gonna trade with a two-coster. God, talk about value. Out of that knife juggler. Hmm. Reporting for two. Deciding whether to kill my raging organ. Oh. 
Probably Gold Trash Footman and Raging Worgen, I think. Secret? No. Alright, it might be the one that diverts the attack when you go to attack them. Diverts it to a 2-1, I think. Oh my god. Alright, well my deck has a lot of 2-coster and rage creatures. So in the face of this stuff, I'm pretty sure I've lost. Hmm. I could play my Cruel Taskmaster to kill that and my Warsong Commander. What now? Mm, but I'm pretty sure I just lose the game if I do that. It's all just going to die. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I just lose the game straight out if I do that. So my only hope is to hold on for dear life and hope I get some super good stuff. I don't even, frankly, I don't even know my deck very well. I've barely played it, so I'm not sure what I like. What I need to wait for. What, what things could save me or whether anything even can save me. Reporting for duty. Alright, Boulderfist Ogre could soak up the True Silver Champion and the Argent Protector. What now? I mean, this thing's just gonna die. Oh no, I just realized this thing has 7 health. So I could soak up a little bit more. What now? Hmm. Do I play it or do I just keep waiting? I don't want to wait forever. He's fucking useless. For a 1-7. Truly a beast to be feared. You know, what am I, uh... My, what was it called? Blade? Not Blade Flurry. Can't remember what it's called. Whatever the one does, that does one damage to the entire board. Or all minions on the board, rather. Would be rather nice right about now. Six, seven. Okay. Hmm. I could Warsong Commander all my Armani Armani Berserkers. Five, six, seven. I can get seven damage out of one. But again, they probably Spectre probably has that thing that diverts the attack, which means it would die. I think I need to hold on to my stuff. All right, let's just pop this thing. Yeah, it's got. Yeah, that's what I figured. Get down! The good thing is they can only play two more minions on the board before it's fill. No, they make make that one. Reporting for duty. The frost wolves. Oh my god! Right. Actually, it's not horrible. I could Taskmaster and execute that. Please give me the AoE attack thing. I have two of them. I have two of them. That's not it. Damn it. Right, that thing obviously needs to die or have lost. Five, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Huh. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. So I can cruel taskmaster, execute it, warn one more song commander, and one Amani Berserker. Right, well I need to do this, there's no doubt about that. Well played. Why thank you. Do I war song commander? I could worse on commander and then I could <laughs> I could kill that kill that with my cruel taskmaster I could have I can't really do much with it like, it's just gonna die and then my worse on commander is gonna be dead what's the point Yeah, I don't think there's any way for me to get out of this. Well, I can silence that, bring its damage down too. Five, six, seven, eight. Right, I just need to kill stuff. Charge forward! <laughs> it's time for a little blood. <laughs> oh, you want me? <laughs> Do I just kill that? No idea if that was a good play. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose right here. They don't need very much damage in hand to kill me. I am sorry. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Blessing of Kings. <laughs> GG. So they obviously win. They've won two out of three, but let's try the Murloc deck. Of course, now Spectre knows it's coming, but it could be fun. You can beat me down for the two losses. Well, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It's it's really a very sensitive deck. You can win on like turn four or five, or you could be destroyed and be utterly yeah. Hmm, that's relatively unlucky, actually, because, like, half of my deck is Murlocs. Oh, alright, that's fine. Greetings. Well met. Surprise! Murlocs in the Murloc deck. Yeah, I really need more Murlocs to make it work, too. Like, the, uh, the Murloc... Uh, what's it called? The Murloc War Leader? Whatever the one that increases everybody's... all their health. I think I only have one of that. Ready for action. Hmm.
If, if I don't kill that, they could attack my Goldshire Footman and heal my Goldshire Footman to increase that to a 3-1. Eh, that's fine. It's it's a YOLO deck. Go for the face. Because if they did that, I could just then sacrifice. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What am I think? Wait, take one. No, no, what, what the hell? They wouldn't heal my Goldshire Footman. Spectre would just heal light, the what, Light Warden. Yeah. And it'd be back up to two health. <laughs> why, why would Spectre heal my Goldshire Footman? What the hell was I thinking? And they can't even do that. Okay. Hmm. Well, I've got to keep this this around. I need more murlocs. I need the ones that spawn other murlocs. The double murlocs. Ooh, I don't want to give up my cold light seer. Oh, maybe I don't have to. I could give it a hand of protection. That does work, right? If you have divine shield that's not getting damaged so it wouldn't be killed by the Emperor Cobra? That, that is how it works, isn't it? It better be. We're about to find out. Reporting for duty. Right, so YOLO Murloc joke deck is so far working, but look at what I have in my hand. Right. Everything's just been destroyed. Everything's ruined. Everything is ruined. My Cold Light Seer is still alive. <laughs> My 4 1's still alive. Wow. Hammer of Wrath's a terrible play. Can't play that. Alright then. Reporting for duty. I mean, I could have done it to the face just for the card draw. Truth is my shield. Hmm. Let's see. I wonder. I could storm and champion and then sacrifice my silver hand recruit and my cold light seer. Right, next turn I can true silver champion and hammer of wrath. <laughs> I shall not pass. We'll see about that. Mr. Shield Bearer dude. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Your magic shall not see. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Silver Champion plus that means dead. Six damage. Uh, yeah, GG. For justice. Well 
The power of the Joker Murloc deck that somehow wins games. I don't even know. I seriously just threw every single Murloc card into my deck. And that was it. And then I just... I don't even know what the hell I did for the rest of the cards. Oh, that deck. It's fun to play, as a joke. Well, those are some good and interesting games. I definitely need to work on my Constructed. But, uh, yeah, it's fun. I'd like to, I'd really like to make a pirate deck, but I don't have anywhere near the amount of cards for that. But I just like to see how it plays. My favorite are always the ones where the blows are treated evenly. Yeah, when you have a really close game and it, it just keep, goes on for a really long time, it comes down to the wire. You know, you're roughly the same amount of cards, roughly the same amount of health. Those are fun, because when you, if you win them, it feels really satisfying. It feels really like you earned it. And even if you lose, you know, you put up a really good fight. To last so long. Alright, well that was just a bit of random fun. So, I hope you enjoyed. Where both sides just keep countering each other. Yeah. Those are the best. They don't happen that often. Especially not in Arena. Man, Arena's usually... Hell, I guess it's usually decided within, what, the first three or four turns? Well, I don't know about usually, but often. Definitely often. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching.